you've got enough Tai Chi experience that you can understand why it feels weird and make adaption, you know, adapt adaptations for it. So, all right, four corners. Let me see the four corners. This is where it gets tough for me. And then just let me make a quick count correction. So this is going to be up here. Oh. So I've got a couple things that I think will help. Um, two and four, particularly. Only two? <laughs> no, I mean just that. Yeah. Let's not overlook it. And then there's just get, get, get a pattern like this. Like let's just, no. Um, and it's a it's a it's a tip that will help in many moves. So um, two and four. Two and four, right? But. Um, don't shift into what I call like open, open pelvis. Okay, so what I mean by that is, as I'm finishing number one to go to number two, what is happens quite a lot is trying to turn and step and shift at the same time. So there's this sort of body opening to here. Um, as a result, I'm already here. I have to have my weight here, and it doesn't matter if I'm in the right spot or not. This is where it's going to be. Versus, I get to here, I lead with that heel, with a close, what I call kind of my closed pelvis. And then I stay here so that I can, and this obviously takes a challenge, but here, stay balanced, turn, we set that, and then start to. Yeah, forgot the toes out. So, and, and the toes out start by staying on that front leg. So, not, not landing fully shifted. Don't land and shift at the same time. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Try. Give it a try. You're going to give me two tips. Uh, that was the first one. That's the main one because I'm both of them. Okay. Oh, and then the other one, yes, I remember the other one. The other one was going into one. I always forget that. Because if you're here, it's going to make you step to, you know, it's going to throw your angle off. Well, he practices that in case there's anyone watching and didn't get that over there. What I mean by the op open pelvis is if I'm getting ready to do my corner number two, because I know it's, it's not how it lines up, but I want to step, see I'm still I'm still towards my original direction, so I can turn these toes out and then shift, lift, and turn compared to that. So Remember, we don't want to shift our weight as we land. We want to choose where our foot goes and then shift that weight into it once we've decided where the foot goes. So again, for if I'm finishing my, I finished one. Make sense, hopefully? Remember that. <laughs> and, and, and then the second thing that I said was um, when you're coming into it, 
the first one from single width. See how far this foot rotates out? That took years for me to be able to not come out of this foot yet and be able to do this. So when I started, I was about here, and I had to shift out of this foot to be able to turn this foot out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot like flutes, right? And the over under under unders, you know, the under overs, where you have to same same kind of process where you empty one into the other one to be able to get further rotation. Because in this one, I mean, as with any Tai Chi posture, but particularly in this one, if the feet are in the wrong position, your four corner angles are, are, are off. They become incorrect. And if you turn them off, then everything, everything is Your I geometry is off. I know that one. <laughs> and then another thing, play with your arms being super heavy. Imagine your arms weigh 30 pounds a piece. Hmm. So that you can hopefully feel the weight as you turn. Yes, better. And then the same thing as you turn here, they like naturally are going to want to flip because they're they're, they're heavy. Mm -hmm. Good, good foot. See, down step in, get your balance. Good. Uh huh. Good. Shift toes in. Yes, very good. See, down step in, get your balance before you step. Good. Lead with the heel. Better. The other direction I would make from that is it just needs to come here, but the mechanics of it were good. Sorry, come over? Come straight back. You kind of arced out to here versus oh. straight oh, back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was actually trying to do that, and I should. Well, and ultimately, when you get it, you will be able to arc and land it in the right place because you, you will end up here. But at first, the arcing it tends to go back here, and then your angle is, is off. So lead straight back with your foot. There you go. Now turn it out. Try socks, try a different surface. So, like, you know, here there's got a safety floor, and it's a safety floor on purpose so that we do not slip and fall. But it does make it seem sometimes like maybe certain twists or spins are impossible when it may just be that this floor is protecting you. So, you know, try a different pair of shoes, try a different surface. Um, I have a couple more pair I want to try. Try now. Find which one works for you. And I'm collecting it already. That's cool. It's the winner. All right, any questions? So, to, to come out of it, uh -huh. it's just a... You have to check, check your double dragons, so that would need to go... Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's just a, a one-off left. Okay. And, like we've talked about, with the same thing with Park of Wild Horses, man, if this foot being here is too difficult to sink down, step in, and step back, to get here, you can cheat these toes in a little bit. From here, see what I did? I go from here mm -hmm. to here. And then that makes it a little bit easier to step with this kind of square. So many things to think about. I know, I know. So if you. It's like a geometry theorem if then, if then, if then, if then. I like that one. So you to park the wild horses made, you kind of went like this. I thought it was like this. It is, but then I was going back to oh, four okay. corners. So my, sorry, so if I'm at Park the Wild Horses main, same thing, my foot is in this spot, and it might be difficult to get to here mm -hmm. without adjusting those toes. So if I need to, and I'm here, and then it's a little bit less of a stretch. And then same thing here, you know, when I'm experienced and I'm used to it, I know where that is. If it's new to me and it's difficult, and then it's easier to square that up. Yeah, I had to use them a long time. Now I don't, but um, yeah, use it till you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Any last questions?
Good job. Good work. I'm the head instructor. Officially. Well, as you intermediate and students at home, master's kind of training is dismissed.